Odiati, Loyola. Loy sits back from a claw. He's looking to get a couple of back points here. He's going to catch, looks like, two near fall for Barnett. Nice job scoring at the end of the period. He's going to take a 5-0 lead here going into the second period. Is number two, Eric Barnett. Yeah, I think a lot of coaches just kind of tend to automatically take neutral, where that's not always the situation. Sometimes you want to you want to maybe uh, when you're a little bit more fresh, get the guy a little bit more tired. Barnett's going to make him pay here. He picks up four more on the near fall, so he's going to make it 9-0 when these, when these points are awarded. Four near fall, Barnett. Four Barnett going to go down here to start the third period. He's quickly up to a quad pod. He needs to try and seal out real quick and get to his feet. As I say that, he does just that, and he's going to pick up one escape, make it 10-0. He's Great match, exactly what you expected from the number two ranked wrestler in the country, and Odiati put up a good battle. Down block go behind for Fugit, and he's able to shovel it down, picks up three on the takedown. Kind of bailed out, did McLean, he was in an awkward position. Fugit's able to pick up the escape, they're on their feet, riding time's at 42 seconds now. 4-0 is the score. Riding time did go below a minute, Excuse me, make that 7-0 with a goal behind there for Fugit. <laughs> Coach would tell him to cut him and stay on the offense and keep scoring points. Just as we say that, Fugit does go and add a few more seconds to that riding time. Looks like he's just going to... And Coach Bonus tell him to cut. McLean wants him to keep scoring here. Yeah, why not, right? Go for the tech. Shot there from McLean. Good down block go behind by Fugit. Played right into what he wanted. 15 to 2 is now the score. He's running out. Walkout music is Coulter Wall. So I got to gotta give him a pat on the back for that. But Chumbly's starting here early. The number 18, 18th ranked wrestler in the country starts here early with a 3 0. Uh, one thing at a time. Just work to his feet, get his escape, and then, you know, start trying to. Uh, Close the gap. Probably went optional start. Go up with a drag attempt there. Wow. Midland's that tough, tough tournament. Nice single leg there by Chumbly. He brought it up right away. Gobble's almost able to square up to a wizard. Chumbly kind of gives him a bear hug to finish it off. Picks up three more on the takedown. Chumbly on top, still collecting riding time. Good job by Gobble. I gotta say, I think that's an escape. Trumbly's still in bounds. They award the escape, make it six to two. With Zargo, because you know he'll be in his face. Aiden Vandenbush, coached by Matt Vandenbush. Random Lake, Random Lake is just not. Zargo looks like he's trying to ride right now. Vandenbush doing a good job from a quad pod, getting to his feet. He's gonna pick up the first point of the match, makes it 1-0. Looking to finish is Zargo. Nothing yet. Now he's gonna pick it up here with 15 to go. Does Joey Zargo, picks up three. He's gonna pick up an escape. Make it four to one on the score. Badgers are four and oh though so far in the duel. They have won the first four weights. They lead 15-0 as we jump up to 157 pounds. He's a three-time state champ, all at 160 pounds, so. Snap from him, he catches the ankle and just <laughs> kind of pulls it in like a dog on a bone. <laughs> yes. Picks up 3-0 lead here early in the first period. Love the dog on a bone reference. Here's the interesting thing, you're looking at two wrestlers out there, six state championships between them. Obviously, uh, Dean Hamity was a three-time state champ, but uh, people are quick to point out that he was heavily favored to win his fourth. But unfortunately, that was the COVID year and was not able to, uh, no state tournament in Illinois that year. <laughs> this is true. We do have, oh, right as Mayfield was able to stand back up, right back on his foot and uh, just wasn't, wasn't gonna be able to happen. Right. We hope to see a quick recovery for him. He's hunting a cradle this match so far. This is the second time, and I think he's got this one locked up. That was tight. We might get a fall here early. Watch his own back. Nope. 
Baylor high legs back over and settles in. He's got a lot of time to work with over a minute. Scoops the bottom leg. Crowd's getting loud. They want to fall from the hometown kid. And that there is the is. fall. Number Are 12. you not entertained? Number 12, Max Mailer, picking up a fall here in the first period for the Badgers. Add six more to the team score. Badgers are leading big in this you one, 27 to five. Legal doing a good job getting to his quad pot up to his base. Gets to a whizzer now. And he's able to square him up, pick up his escape. If I was legal right now, I would kick around just like he did. There you go. And he's gonna pick up two. Coach three. Nate. That's three right there. Would called to take down quicker. Yes, you sir. You were the head ref. Sure would have. Nonetheless, Legal picks up three, has a 4-1 four, four lead now. Good job by Fisher getting to his feet and getting the escape. 4-1 lead here with 28 seconds to go. You get into those, you know, neutral or on the mat, they just do a little bit better job holding position, and that's kind of what gets you to the top. Uh, everyone knows technique, uh, and you have guys with good technique and bad technique at all levels. Fisher did a good job there. I thought he was going to end up getting the two. Legal kept the hold of that leg. and Stayed calm. Yep, was able cool to hold on to it. there. Cool as a cucumber, as they say. Able to not give up bonus points, only was tech fold one time. Obviously keeping those to decisions and major decisions is, is big when it comes to that team score. Single leg shot there by Bates. He did a good job stepping over and hooking Otto's leg. He was able to pick up the takedown. Otto's gonna go optional start, cut some loose right away. 4-0 is the score. No two yet, he is working to step over Otto's leg. He's gonna sit him back. Nothing yet, they're still scrambling. And Bates is able to pick it up. He kind of stayed on that leg and controlled it. Found his way to the takedown. Right now it is seven to nothing, but Bates does have riding time. So if it ended like this, it would be eight to nothing, which is a major decision. Legs are flat. Bates just putting that pressure in. Tough. Using all of that 197 Tough frame. Tough when you're giving up some size on bottom. Good job by Otto getting a seal and able to hip heist out. Now watch Bates two. go at it. Jensen controlling hands on bottom. He's going to pick up that escape, score the four, first point of the match. Now we're in a little bit of uh, double unders here for Rosenfeld. Jensen drops Jensen down to a nice. nice single leg, switches to a bars of guards, doesn't finish it, but he kind of comes yep. back and finishes yep. the takedown. Oh, looking for a Jensen cheap tilt here at the tilt. end. He does. He's going to pick up those powerful hips. A I can't tell how much your fall it is. Kind of a backbreaker right there. But I'm doing the math in my head here, Steve. Gotcha, yep, yep. I'm a pencil and paper math guy. Double leg there. That was a slick, Solid slick double take leg. down. I imagine Jessen's uh, happy being in the all-you-can-eat heavyweight division. Rivera with an overhook. Cross ankle trip. I don't know what you call that. <laughs> he picks up three on the takedown. Big mat Jeez. return there for Adams. Puts Nicolar flat on his stomach. Shane Sparks would be proud. This is a big duel, or this is a big match as far as the duel is concerned. Team wise, kind of doing a, taking a look at uh, team yeah. score. And this is one of those toss-ups, right? Here, we're going back in the same position. R Rivera gave up the reversal last time. Now he only gives up the escape. Duck attempt here from Adams. Rivera's just giving him the overhook, or the underhook, excuse me. Duck there by yes, Rivera. Duck, Speedy, it. fast. Picks up wow. three on the takedown with a short time in the second period. And go ahead, show it to Adams, too. I mean, winless so far. Obviously wrestling a lot of Big Ten action. And came right at Nicolai Rivera. 